Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to this session of Let Us Talk It Youth Webinar. We are extremely excited to have um, our, uh, the younger youth group from ages from uh, six years to 11 years to be in this um, webinar as panelists, as uh, speakers, as guest speakers. And uh, they uh, are a group who are always excited they are a group who feels that it is they what they do is from their heart and um, they come in they do the prep session diligently they love what they do and then whatever comes out uh, it's from their heart their um, uh, research and their um, finding from google or uh, talking to their parents so uh, it's uh, pretty much their work and they only find the um, uh, you know, the slides, how to put it. Mostly now they have been doing it for some time. So um, uh, welcome all uh, to this session with the youth. And we would uh, definitely encourage if you are a parent or you have a kid and they can join the Zoom uh, link and uh, we, they can interact with our youth in the interactions and question answer session, that would be great. And all those who have joined in on social media, please do leave your comments, feedback, and we can uh, definitely take this at the end of the session. Uh, and also, just to, as a reminder, if you want your kid to be part of this youth webinar, do email us at webinar at letustalkit.com. And uh, also, another uh, 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 we have these webinars every other Friday and every um, uh, Saturday. So tomorrow we will be having the older youth uh, webinar, which would be on how a youth can make a difference right now for the future. So that will be a very interesting topic. So that is for tomorrow at 4 p.m. EST. But for now, we will be uh, talking about our younger youth group topic, which is the importance of pets. You know how much kids love pets and this topic absolutely made them go gaga. Uh, so um, the pets are a very important part of our everyday lives. And uh, we know that somebody, uh, some people they can keep and some they uh, cannot, but we all do love them. And we know that they provide us uh, with companionship, uh, with emotional support, uh, reduce stress and all of that. But our youth has more uh, facts, more um, reasoning to have the importance of pets in our lives. So if you are interested and if you want to find more or to add to what they have to say, please uh, keep listening. And we have a wonderful panel here with uh, Shan, Pranati, Arushi, Partha, Prithvi, Rudra, Akshara, Ahana, Manaswini, and um, Manaswini and Pranati will be the co-moderators today. And uh, we have as a guest speaker for the first time and the youngest of all, six-year-old Kashvi. And she will be speaking at the interaction session. And trust me, that will be one of a kind because she, her cuteness is just overloaded. So please uh, keep uh, listening, keep uh, encouraging our kids. And um, all the best kids, over to you, Manaswini. Hello, welcome to this webinar. You are gonna learn a lot about the importance of pets. Each of our panelists are gonna talk about the importance of different kinds of pets. We chose this topic because if anyone wants to get a pet, they get to know the information and decide to choose the pets. So next up, my co-moderator Pranathi is gonna tell the table of contents. On to you, Pranathi. So in our table of contents, we first are going to meet our panelists. And second, we're going to see the slides about the importance of pets and different types of pets and facts about them and why they're important in our daily lives. And three, individual favorites. Our panelists' favorite pets. And four, conclusion. Five, interactions in Q&A. In the interactions in Q&A section, we are going to be answering any questions on social media or that our panelists or guest speakers have. First, we have meet our panelists. 
Hi, I am Pranati. I go to Gallimore Elementary and I am in fourth grade. I like to paint and make crafts. I am a moderator, co-moderator for today's webinar. And I'm gonna be talking about bunnies. Next, we have Mana Sweeney. Hi, my name is Mana Sweeney. I'm nine years old. Uh, I'm in fourth grade. I go to Troy Union Elementary and I like to do arts and crafts and I'm gonna be one of the moderator in this week's webinar. Next up, we're gonna have Sean. Hi everyone, my name is Sean. I'm a fourth grader at Fry Elementary. I'm 10 years old. And some things I like to do in my free time are um, play Xbox and play with my sister. And I really love pets a lot and I wish I could have a dog one. Next we have Rue. Hi, my name is Rue. I'm seven years old. I go to Fry Elementary School and I'm in first grade. During my free time is playing with my brother and doing arts and crafts. And as you see in my slide, I'll be talking about dogs in this webinar. Next we have Ahana. Fifth grader at Hillside Elementary School. And some things I like to do when I'm bored are draw and do crafts and definitely play with my brother. I really love it animals, especially dogs and hamsters. And as you can see, I will be talking about hamsters in this webinar. Hi, my name is Akshara, I'm 10 years old and go to Troy in elementary school. My favorite things to do are arts and crafts and play with my little brother. As you can see, I'll be talking about fish and my favorite animals are bunnies. Next, we have Prithvi. Hi, my name is Prithvi. In this week's webinar, I'm going to be talking about dogs. And I'm seven years old, and I go to Morris Elementary School. Next, we have Arushi. Hi, my name is Arushi. I'm seven years old. I school with Steve McHenry. I'll be talking about, as you can see, I'll be talking about cats. Some things I like to do in my free time is ballet, draw, and paint. Next we have Partha. Hi, my name is Partha. I'm nine years old and I go to most elementary school. And in, as you can see, I'm going to talk about parrots in this week's webinar. Next we have Krithi. Hi, my name is Krithi. I, I'm a nine year old and I go to fourth, I'm in fourth grade and I go to Costello Elementary School. Some things I like to do in my free time are paint and call my friends. And as you can see in this week's webinar, I will be talking about hamsters. Importance of pets in our lives. Bunnies. A bunny's habitat is near grassy lands such as meadows, plains, or even your backyard. In the United States, there is a population of 50% of bunnies out of the whole world. Bunnies predators are lynxes, badgers, and foxes. Bunnies' defense against them is their sharp nails and teeth. It also helps us when it comes to animals in our pantries, such as mice. A rabbit's teeth never stop growing, and that's a difference between a bunny and a rabbit. Hamsters are inexpensive. They are low price to buy, and food and stuff like bedding or food or play stuff for hamsters are low price. Hamsters are easy to maintain. They stay in one spot in the cage, so it's easy to clean and maintain. Hamsters occupy less space. The size of a hamster is small, which is good for less space houses. Hamsters don't need company. Hamsters don't need someone to play with. Because, yeah, they just don't want anybody to play with. Dogs have helped humans from a long time ago. They helped hunt with, helped them hunt. 
Um, now, since we don't hunt with dogs mostly, they can guard your family and your house. Next. Dogs can help round livestock. On farms, dogs are important because they help make sure the livestock don't run away. There are even special dog types of dog. There are even special dogs um, called herding dogs. Next. Dogs can also make you feel less stressed, just like many of the other pets in this webinar. Um, they release special chemicals that help you that um, make you feel happy. Next. Did you know that dogs can help locate diseases? Experts say dogs possess a sense of smell that is very, very good. With training, dogs can sniff out drugs. They're also used to detect bombs. They're being ex experimentally to detect human disease, cancer, diabetes, and now malaria from the smell alone. But did you know they can also sniff out COVID-19? So that's good if you, for a dog. Next. Unfortunately, dogs get treated badly. Dog fighting is one of the most heinous forms of animal cruelty. Dogs used for fighting are typically raised in isolation, so they spend most of their lives on short, heavy chains. Dogs are usually fed with drugs to make them fight one another. Ah! So that's really sad for those dogs. Next we have Rue. So, dogs help blind people in getting food, opening fridges, and much more. Only 5% of people who are blind, impaired, use dog as guide. Dogs learn to stop at stairs or other areas of the household. They also learn words like, get the chair, or open the door. Next. A dog is an excellent companion for someone feeling bad. Pets, especially dogs, pets can reduce stress, stress, accidentity, and depression. Loneliness, loneliness, encourage, encourage exercise and playfulness. Next. Dogs encourage one fifty one fifty minutes a week of running and walking. You you also get outside walking every day. Daily exercise is good for health. The recommend amount of daily exercise for most dogs is 30 minutes to two hours. Next is Arushi. Lower anxiety. Scientists say that cats can lower your anxiety. A bad day becomes good. People say that cats can change a bad day into a good one. That's amazing. Only a cat. Only a cat can lower stress levels, health problems. Cats can lower your health problems. What? Heart attack. Cats can actually help you not get a heart attack. A cat's purr. A cat's purr can actually save your life. Bye-bye, I'm getting a cat. Health healing powers. <clears throat> I can... The cats have super healing powers. I can agree, but the question is, how do cats do that? Cats are shown to release stress in a number of different ways by simply being stressed. When you had a hard day, coming and spending some time petting a fuzzy feeling can put your body to produce stress hormones and, up and also give a positive calming effect.
He wrote across cultures the dove represents purity, gentleness, devotion, beauty, and faith. Symbol of peace. On an international level, dove represents hope and peace. Symbolic of new beginning. White doves, white doves are symbolic of new beginnings. Peace, lo love, lucky, and prosperity. Holy Spirit. In Christian art, a dove often stands for the Holy Spirit. And some heroes of World War I. There are no mobile phones at the time of World War I. Then those were used to deliver messages. So we, so we can call those as unsung heroes of World War I. Uses human words and mimic sounds. In when when you buy a parrot, it, it this is the only bird that can use human words and mimic sounds. Mimic means like if you talk something, he talks the same thing. That's kind of making you funny and make you laugh when you're so sad. And those affectionate and entertaining bird. Affectionate means like. Well, pretend you went outside and you came and inside and then a dog will just leap on you and it will be so uncomfortable, right? So a pair will just land on your shoulder that is very comfortable. Entertaining bird. It's a fun, it's a fun pet to play with. It is very fun. Smart and companionship. Parrots are smart and can, can give you great companionship skills. That is good for you. Symbolize for good luck. Parrots also, for, they also symbolize you for good luck. If you're on a test or something, you're, you don't know nothing, maybe you'll get good luck if you buy a parrot. Maybe that is super, that's what you want. Maybe you want to do a test. And you'll get maybe 70%, at least something like that, you will pass. Calming influence. A parrot has a calming influence over anxieties, just like a Rushi. Next. I'm done. Next we have Akshara. Fish. They're really relaxing. Fish can calm a person when they're really really angry i mean really angry so let's sit down and meditate um easy to take care, take care of fish are easy to take care of they need a lot of love and support but at the end of the day it's worth it kind of reminds me of valentine's day all of a sudden my pet my grandparents have a lot of fish i remember playing and scaring them away deeper into the ocean I mean, the aquarium, save them. Now pets need help because they're dying because of plastic pollution. So you want a pet fish, if that's your dream pet or something, well, then you better help save the world. Lifespan. Fish can live up to 10 to 30 years. But ever since plastic pollution and global warming has started, their lifespan is only 10 to 20 years. It's kind of sad. Next we have Ahana. So let's get started about talking about one of my favorite tiny furry pets, a hamster. So most people know that hamsters are nocturnal, so that means they stay up at night. But did you know that they're banned in Hawaii? Well, that's weird. A hamster's lifespan is two to three years, but in those two to three years, they can help calm you and they're really good companions. There are 18 to 19 types of hamsters. Hamsters like to hoard food and they're prone to bacteria and viruses. So you don't have to be, you don't have to worry because they can't get sick. Their little teeth never stop growing, just like bunnies. So they like to chew on lots of stuff. So I picked this topic because when I was little, I got the chance to take care of a hamster for one whole week. 
When I took care of that hamster, I got lots of questions about them. So I wanted to look up and learn about them. Now on to Kriti. Hamsters. They are mouse-like pets and they are so cute. They love to run on little hamster wheels and they need a little bit, they need a lot of care. Hamsters are cute and playful. The life cycle. When hamsters are born, they are called pups. Their mom can get pregnant in 24 hours again. The max pups is 10. They live for a max of five years and then, well, bye-bye. <laughs> they do not have much in life. So this is a small life they have. Breed. There is a golden hamster, the Russian hamster, the dwarf hamster, the winter white, and the Rabrowski hamster, and the Chinese hamster. These, these breeds are all good hamsters, and they all have different lifespans. Food. The best food for hamsters is KD Fiesta food. The next best food for hamsters is Oxbow Animal Health Food. The third best food is Wild Harvest. Tips on hamsters. Hamsters need two main things, a home and food. They will need entertainment too. They will not bother you too much. Hamsters will also need exercise, so they'll need an exercise wheel or ball. Hamsters needs, a, they'll need a home, a small animal bedding, an exercise wheel or ball, and high quality hamster food. Now we have individual pets that other people like. There's Sean. So these are two of my favorite, well, dream pets. They're dogs. Well, one I'd like to name is Sunny. And the other one, well, it's Lucy, which is also a name for my mom's um, pet dog. See, and this guy, so he, they're like, hi, I'm Sunny. Hi, I'm Lucy. And this guy's just here and says, hi, I'm Sean. Come on. Why'd you ruin the party? See, they're even thinking you. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. So they're going to say some facts today. Did you... Did you know? Three dogs survived the sinking of the Titanic? 45% of dogs sleep in their owner's bed? Speaking of sleeping, all dogs dream, but puppies and senior dogs dream more frequently than adult dogs. That's all for us. Boy. Next up. We have Go ahead. Love? know the difference between one hour and five minutes. What? Did you know heading a dog can actually benefit your physical and mental health? Dogs don't sweat. In instead, they can't. They can't to cool themselves. Maltese dogs do not shed, making them perfect pups for people with allergies. That's all for now. Dogs. Dogs are very cute and they're very fun to play with. I've always wanted a dog. Dogs take a lot of responsibility to take care of. 
You have to take them out for walks like every day. These are some really cute dog pictures. Next up, we have a No sweetness. Cats are believed the only mammals who don't taste sweetness. Better eyesight. Cats are nearsighted, but their vision and night vision are way better than humans. That's not fair. How many toes? Cats are supposed to have 18 toes. That's a lot of toes. Big jumps. Cats are supposed. Um, cats can jump and will jump up to six times their length. Mm -hmm. Ears. Cat's ears can rotate 180 degrees. 500 million. There are over 500 million domestic cats in the world. That's a lot of cats. We are, fr we are friends. Cats and humans have been associated for nearly 10,000 years. That's amazing. Next we have Pradeep. Hello. I kind of didn't write a little words. Just tell some ta facts about doves. They are. If you have a pet dove, and you want to send a message to somebody, and you just let, just put the letter to the dove, then it's gonna take to the house. Then the then the okay. Okay, I like doves because they because they're white. And we can also send letters to somebody we want. Bunnies. They're my favorite animal because they are really hyper. Just like me. I hope they can do cartwheels and handstands. Maybe she can come to gymnastics class with me? We'll think about that. Fluffy. Bunnies are like super duper fluffy. They're like almost like little fluff balls. They're so cute. Because they're like fluff balls, they just look like a ball in the corner. But that also makes them look cute because their eyes are kind of small, which makes them look really, really cute. Okay, parrot needs a lot of care-offs. So that, but you have to like let them go out of the cage every once in a while. But it's okay, it will fly around the house. When you try to catch it, it will give you some exercise. Like you run all over the house, but the parrots keep flying, and that gives you great exercise. Even if you don't, if you don't like exercising, a parrot's the best one for you. But you have to let it out of the cage every one week or something like that. And that's and you need to exercise. You, if you have you, if you're so lazy of exercising and you love a parrot, you just have to leave it. Close all the windows. Close everything, and then start. And then leave the cage open. Wait for the parrot to fly out, and then start your running journey. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time, but Wait. you could just. Way you could take rest every ten seconds. It's okay, but parrots are very good. They're very ex look at. They give you a lot of exercise if you're so lazy. If one, I'm done. A parrot's definitely for me. I definitely need exercise. So I love parrots because I mean I like hamsters because they're so cute and fun to play with. And they're just so soft, just like bunnies, and you could use them as a pillow, but no, you don't want to. 
They're fun to play with every day if you have so many toys to play with it. They're so fun and they're so cute. So with their little eyes and their when they're roaming around in the cage, it's so cute. So everyone, this is what we know about pets and how they are helpful to us in the environment. Even if you don't have a pet or you're allergic, at least you can play with your friends. We're not done yet. Let's go look at some questions in the Q&A section. So does anybody have questions in this Q&A section? Like Sean or anybody? I do. I have okay. one question. What's your question? Which would you prefer to exercise with? A parrot? A parrot. A I would choose a parrot. A cat? I would choose a parrot. Wait, one minute. Think Actually, I would choose a dog. I think bunnies because, you know, they Wait, I didn't even say the run. options yet. So, um, a cat, a dog, or a parrot? Which one would you... Uh, dog. Dog. I, I don't think I, I'd be able to get a parrot. My, my friend, like, next, next, next door has a parakeet. Dog. Thing. Dog. Dog. How about we let our guest speaker put Kashri um answer? Why don't you tell a little bit about yourself? Then you can answer the question. Hi, my name is Kashri. I'm six years old. I'm in um first grade. I like I like to do speed skating and drawing and um dancing and swimming and what is your favorite pet my favorite pet is the parrot mm. nice that's <laughs> really cool i like a pet mm -hmm. so which one yeah. would you pick to exercise with a parrot a dog? yeah which one would you choose mm -hmm. But yeah, which one would you exercise with? A parrot, a dog, or a cat? Gosh, we... A parrot. Parrot. Okay. A parrot. I okay. feel like I'm Good like, choice. I'm but... pretty short. So I if the parrot's flying like up there, then I'm not gonna be able to catch the parrots so or probably a dog. Yeah, I'm picking a dog because if you take a parrot, um, how are you going to get it back in the cage? Uh, uh, you need a well-trained parrot. Oh, I you know. probably need like a big, like a bigger cage. You need treat. Well, I, I think guess. I know how you to get it You just need like back. a taller cage yeah. or something. So well, wait, Brennity, how do you get it back? How do you get it back, Brennity? You need a trained pet. You have to make it run for an hour or something. Yeah, but how do you every ten minutes you take a rest? And then Wait, so Parta, how are you gonna get it back in the cage? Wait, Wait, one minute, guys. Wait, so Parta, if I get a parrot one day, are you going to come to my house and train it? You better. Okay? I'm not training it myself. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, no, 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 I'm serious. I'm not training it myself. You're training. Yeah, we need help training a parrot. If like, yeah, yeah no, you better train it. I'll give you a tip on getting a carrot back to its cage. Just put some. <laughs> No, yeah, you better it. train it. Like, yeah. Come to my house. You should better train every parrot. Every parrot yeah. in the world. Yeah. 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 You can do this yourself. You just, if your parrot's lazy, make it hungry and put some food in the cage. And when you get, when the parrot flies in there, and then you have your chance. Close the door. <laughs> That's <laughs> a really good way. Feed it some food on your hand and put it back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Put well, it on your shoulder, too. Yeah, my like, friend, she has like this parrot, and then she like makes, she puts a bunch of food in the cage, and then the parrot just flies, and she's like, ha ha ha, I trapped you. She just <laughs> That's what I said. That's I actually a funny ha, one. Ha. I do that to my brother. I'm like, ha, 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 I trapped you in my bedroom. <laughs> How do you trap someone in your own bedroom? I don't get it. <laughs> like, yeah, I trap him in his bedroom. We have, so my we brother, have a whole bird rival, guys, 
It's the parrot versus the dove. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. My bear, wins. my bear wins. A dove will go where. Pretend you got a dove, and then you got a mail, and then you, you know, and then you have to take it to the next right there. The dove will fly wherever it wants and never deliver the message. Who knows? I wish was a parrot. What's gonna happen with a parrot too? I'll choose a parrot. If you get a trail trained one, you could just tell it to go to the next door, and then it will go. I will choose what a if parrot. It doesn't want what if it oh, doesn't want to train? What if it's, um, then if it's a naughty parrot? You have to go some okay. kind of parrot school. <laughs> I don't know if there's such things. You have to put parrot school? Can I read it? <laughs> no, parrot? Parrot school? I don't think it's a thing parrot school. I think everything has a school, right? Well, like, uh, yeah, but like, you have to school. Like, you have to have school. Not everything has a school. You fish okay. and stuff. Okay, like, I, I know, know this is the best time for you guys to interact and talk, and it was uh, uh, so informative and so from the heart, but uh, can we have some uh, uh, just few questions. If uh, is there are any questions from the audience, yeah. or else one thing I wanted to ask: uh, Does any one of you have a real pet at home? Yeah, that's no. exactly what I was trying to ask. Okay, I go don't. ahead. I don't. I don't. I don't. One. I don't have one. I don't. I you could consider me a former pet that. owner. I used to have a I fish. mean, I like want like a pet fish or something. My brother. But it yeah. might take some time to get a pet in the house. I have this I toy don't. electric bird and I'm like, I, I, I have this toy electric bird and I'm like, oh my God, you're my pet. I love you so much because yeah. it's like. I the was only pet. I do that like my toys. electric bird, okay? I would yeah, give my, friend, my brother my pet. My friend. I have a dog like that literally only eats and poos. That's literally all. <laughs> oh, wait, you okay. have a dog? Arushi, you have a dog? Not a real dog. Not a real dog. What dog then? Um, oh, I think it. I know. It's one of those dogs that just eats and poops and like has wheels. Yeah, it's called a poop oh. lot. It's literally called a poop lot. My friend has that, I think. Yeah, yeah. My friend, she has like this robotic dog that looks realistic, and she's like, Krithi, meet my pet dog. I just got it two days ago. I'm like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so, actually so funny. The other day, I was talking to my friend, and she was like, I want to get a dog really badly, but my parents are not letting me. And then she's like, and she told me, but my parents said that if I take care of this dog, that they're going to give me a real dog up for my birthday, which is two months away. I can't wait. And I'm like, good for you. What does it do for me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, no, she's just like, I have a, no, but, and then she's, she has this like fish light thing. And then she sticks it to the wall, and she's like, "Oh my God, swim, little fishy, swim! They're so cute. I think, you can do it. I, I you can think swim. this one exists. I think this one exists, okay, but it may be not real, kind of looking to you. I think there's it's little like robotic dog. fish. If any of you have a pet, what is a pet's behavior like on a walk? I don't have a I pet. Or I, don't I don't have a pet. pet. And I don't. <laughs> yeah, I never get a pet. This is my I head. I could get a robot one because it gets. Oh, yeah, I had those. Arushi. I had yeah, those. And this is its leash. I don't have a it. It's a tiny dog. Oh, wow. It even has a leash. Yes, mine needs yeah. to have a leash. Do you, do you know the sad part? I really want a dog, but I'm allergic to dogs. Oh, you my are God, allergic so to dogs? Sad. Akira D says she's allergic to blueberries. Yeah, I mean, but the, the let her be is, I'm allergic to blueberries. No, Why I about my allergicness to dogs? No, my friend is just is, like. No, I'm a, like I am scared and terrified of dogs. Oh, I'm you are terrified of dogs. My yeah, mom's terrified of dogs. I don't. I'm so terrified if I see a dog. My mom is also scared of dogs. Yeah, she's scared of dogs, but she says her favorite 
Animal's a dog. <laughs> My mom is okay with dogs, she, but she doesn't like dogs, so she does not let me have a dog. Both my mom and my dad had dogs, so now we're just waiting for us to get one. My dad likes dogs. He, like, loves dogs. I think um, my mom would agree. He's had a dog since he was, like, four almost. I think he's had a dog since he's, like, five. I'm going to get so terrified if I have that. Okay, then my question to all those who uh, whose parents had a dog or a cat or a pet. So did you ask them what was their experience like? Did you get uh, feel like, okay, we are having this webinar. Did you get some information from them? I did not get any information from my parents, but I do But did know you ask them? them? Yes, I have. My dad and then they said dog. that we are not going to tell about uh, my pet. Um, I don't have a pet. No, just one second. Kriti, can you answer that? What? So what did they answer when you asked them about their pet? No, I asked them, like, um, did you have a pet? And, like, how was it like? My dad, my mom never had a pet, I think. But my dad, like, likes dogs so much. And he used to have this dog named Brownie. It would be, like, silly all the time. And then... If you like left it at home, it would like rip everything apart. So you had to like it would it would be kind of naughty at times. Oh my See god! How yes, now comes oh my the god. reality. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, I have to clean them. No, no dogs. Not even take it. But you're probably not going to rip the dogs and everything apart. One at a time. One at a time. Let's speak one at a time. I actually yes. would like a puppy more than a dog. Okay, and yes. the puppy will never, uh, always not remain a puppy, so a puppy. it will grow into too. Too. a dog. Will make you so bad, you have so dirty. So, uh, uh, after this webinar, let me ask uh, Ahana, who hasn't spoken at all. So, what do you? What is your take? From this webinar what do you think do you uh, you've been so quiet so um, thought of asking you but any uh, anybody else can also answer but Ahana I would like to know because you're a little older uh, in the group so what is your take on this uh, on this topic I learned lots of new things about different animals today and I also had really fun learning about like how everyone in like, interacting and talking about all the animals so I learned lots of new facts. Okay, that's good. Anyone else wants to add to that? Yes. Um, I had a fun time sharing and I did learn a lot about dogs and cats and fish. And those are great tips for getting these things in the future. So getting things in the future, meaning you are all aiming to have uh, this information and you would collect some more information and then try to get a pet. Yeah. Like Is that correct? If I were, yeah. Like if I were to get like a dog, then like Sean's and Rue's were like good slides that helped me like learn about dogs. Correct. See? Then our webinar, uh, we can uh, direct people to uh, check out our webinar to see what they might like. Yes. Um, <laughs> how about Kashvi, our first time, the youngest of all? Uh, so what is your take on that? So do you, are you still uh, going to love a parrot and have a parrot or uh, would you change your mind? Kashvi? I would still have... I would still have a parrot, but I just wanted to tell that researchers have made a word and that word was um, soya and it's, the meaning is the human and the animal bond. Wow. See, everybody is trying to put in something new. That's what we like about it, uh, about it's the webinar. one more fact about parrots. Sorry? Can I tell one more fact about parrots? Yeah, go ahead. Well, you know, when you, you leave the bird, it runs all around the place. You run and jump at the same time. That gives you a great exercise if you watch TV too much. If you or make your brother or sister or someone open the cage door and you love a parrot, but you don't take care, you run to, you take care of it, but you also watch TV not exercising 
So, if make your mom and someone open the cage door and if you love it you'll start running you'll start running and then if you want it to and when he's running the parrot will feel hungry too so you have to put some food in the cage so that he can stop exercising it's a great i think a parrot would get uh, hyperactive <laughs> Uh, you didn't I'll run. just give uh, you running skills, but not jumping. Parrots give you jumping. Yeah, because they fly high, so you got to jump. Well, I have to try yeah. switching. That is kind of awesome. You need 100 days of training, non-stop, without sleeping, to get just that parrot from up to down. Yeah, you thank you, Bartha. We got your point. It's very... Uh, 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 that even to make us get up from that couch, we need a bed, right? That's the mm -hmm. bottom line. That we I are not that motivated cool. to do that. And for, if you, if we are not motivated, then we can even have a pet to do that for us. Good yes. point. Any other point from? Um, uh, I have a rule to add on to that. Yeah, go ahead. It will be cheating if you just don't jump on a couch and do that. Okay. Don't make Yeah, I think uh, our panelists and our friends here are smart enough that they won't do it on the couch, right? So, yeah. any other question that uh, uh, is coming uh, in, uh, Pranati and Manaswini? Yeah. How do you deal with good and bad behavior with pets? Yeah, very good question. Let's take turns and answer. What was the question again? What was the question again? Oh, how do you deal with good and bad behavior of pets? Oh, I know. Okay, you can go. <laughs> um, if your pet is lazy, you have to make it hungry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to take it for. You have to pet. really make it. Yes, hungry. like you should make your pet a little tired probably then it'll probably just be like i can't do this anymore it'll just lay and be doing nothing and just sit there like my friend she has a dog and, and, don't, and, and don't it just sits there and does nothing because it's always tired uh, it will be a good chance if you don't get a dog it, when it runs it also rips everything uh, Extremely yeah. carpet with the claws, it will rip them apart. Now we'll make it super messy. And Actually, yeah, I don't well, think this answers the question. I'm not trained. And make sure you don't buy a carpet house, okay? When you buy okay, Partha, uh, can you let the others also speak? You will again get a chance, okay? Trained dogs, train dogs actually don't um rip things up. But, like, usually puppies, their jaws are too wide, so that's a bad behavior of puppies because they have to, like, chew on something, so they start, like, chewing on pillows. I mean, my friend got a dog, and I don't see... The, um... I think it's because it's a dog. When it's a puppy, uh, it needs to chew on something. Yeah. <laughs> Once it becomes like a dog, it's just like less energetic and just yes. lays everywhere. If like, I have a question. yes. If like, so, if you ever saw a pet or have a pet or had a pet, how did it behave, good or bad, or how did it behave on walks when you play with it? Um, how did it behave? Never I had a fish, so I don't really know. <laughs> I've never took care of a pet before. I've, I've never had a pet fish before. Like before. Nice. Years. My grandpa has um, a parrot and a fish, but I haven't seen them in a long time. Okay, maybe this question I can improvise a little. Um, how will you treat your your pet if you get a pet? Um, how will you treat it and how will you train it? I would basically just um give him a treat if he does something right. Or like if I'd give him a treat if he does something right and be strict if he does something wrong. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're that's, right. That's pretty much all I do. My friend's neighbor has a dog. I mean, I mean, I mean, sorry. They have like four dogs and all those four dogs are extremely naughty. So you should never leave them at home. And they're okay. and then they they talk about these things called the three Fs: fun, firm, <laughs> and some other F. But like the What's three the Fs. The three oh, Fs. Maybe fun and strict. Just like you have to be fun with oh, your dog, good. and you have to be strict with your dog, and um. yeah about it i won't be that strict i'll just not give it the maturity i'll be yeah. like well if, if a dog himself. by the time you come home and your house is just collapsing yeah that's when you get no treats you're getting out of the house yes, yes. Yeah. like if you if you have a dog and then your house is just like practically collapsing after you come home then you'll be like slapping it yeah, <laughs> I have we'll a like, question. and then the dog's like, "What did I ever do?" I have a oh, question. You ripped the, house, the, have you a ripped a the house apart, dog. I have a question. No. Have a question. Wait, guys, Minus I... Rini has a question. So, if you wanted your favorite pet, and instead you got a different pet, what would you do? I would just return it. I deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. I deal with I it. I mean, like. Cats and dogs, you don't, nobody knows how costly they are. They're like, I would deal with it. 4,000. They're like really costly. Like, so you can't like return a cat. It's cats like your like, property after you die. <gasps> like, cats are like really easy stuff. to take care of. All you need to do is feed them, pick up their hair and their hairballs. And now, time for reality. Cats have sharp nails unless you declaw them, which takes in like another, I don't know. Five hundred dollars just to deep bottom. So, uh, for any pet, for any pet, the key is love. That is, yeah, for, <laughs> for dogs, for hamsters, for cats. If if you love them, that's all. Like, yeah. Love I have another question. So, what are the needs of different types of animals? Uh, Wait, say that again. Question. Uh, what are the needs of other types of animals? What are the needs? Oh, so like she means farm animals or like tigers. Like endangered animals. Like pets. Uh, what are uh, the needs? Um, well, I don't really know any other pets. Like tortoises? Honest. Maybe yeah. tortoises are getting endangered. Yeah. Um. I guess it's like what are the other pets? Um Oh, uh there's this Three foot one lizards are pets. Um oh. one pet called the I think it's a stick bug or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah they're they're like those really long things that look like sticks. They're yeah, and they camouflage they long. in they sticks. Were, I've had one on my hand before. And mostly hide in trees. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so does it literally look like a stick? Yeah, I've had yeah. one on my hand before. Yeah, so when when they like camouflage in their like what the place you keep them in, it like really like it yeah. keeps your eyes like really focused. And that can help improve your focus to find where they are. Same this with might the sound ridiculous. Okay, uh there is one question from our attendee here, Shriya. Uh, what are some benefits of having a pet? We, I know we already discussed, uh, but uh, can we give a summary or some few points? Yeah, well, the... Ahana, Ahana okay. would like to answer this question. So there lots of lots of... Yeah, he can talk. What is going on? Ahana, uh, Ahana can you Okay, this is answer? definitely something. Go check it out. Can you move? Rushi, you're unmuted. Oh. Yeah, so. But um, I guess one one main one is that most people mentioned it today in, in today's webinar that they really, they help you, they pets like help you, like calms you. And it like gives, it kind of, it's like having a pet's like having another friend or like a family member. Yeah, and it helps you with your health.
Yeah, they like help you and they make you happy and that's like they help you a lot. Very much. Yeah, so do we have um any other questions from social media? I have a question for everybody. What's your favorite breed of a dog? Dog? Doodle. I have no clue. No clue. I have no clue. Golden Doodle. All the way, yeah, Golden Doodle. Golden Doodle. Wait, who said Golden Doodle? Who said Golden Doodle? Not me. Who said Golden Doodle? I like Golden Retrievers and Labradors. I heard someone say Golden Doodle. Who said Golden Doodle? Yeah, Rue said Golden Doodle. No, she said golden. Dude, I love golden doodle. Golden I doodle. love Bichon Frises. They're so soft. Oh, yeah. Did you ever so see a teacup dog before? Did anybody see a teacup dog? Oh, teacup dog. They look so teacup. small. I know. They're only they're like, like so this small. big. That's what makes them so adorable. Yeah. Like, once I saw this Pomeranian that was like a teacup dog, and it was just like this pom pom with eyes and a nose and a mouth in it. <laughs> it was like so weird. It was just Most like this, of them are big. Doodles are so them. soft. Most of them are like fake. And golden doodles. Fun fact, my mom actually had a Pomeranian. Pomeranians are adorable. Okay, I know we would love to continue talking, but we are running out of time now. So uh, we'll just go quickly to the audience, to the attendees. Uh, Do any one of you have any questions, feedback, comments? Please, you can unmute and... uh, uh, Tell. I have a comment. Okay, Kriti. Um, well, thank you, everybody. And the things every, that the slides that everybody made were very helpful. Yeah, I have to agree with you. And uh, it was uh, so creative and, uh, you know, something that came uh, from the heart. As I said, I'm going on saying from the um, uh, beginning that uh, as soon as the topic, the topic was definitely chosen by you guys. And uh, it was a topic that, uh, you know, you felt (laughs) you you fell in love as soon as it was just said by someone. I don't Mm -hmm. remember who uh, it was, but... uh, uh, yeah, thank you for being so proactive, um, giving your time, energy, being having fun at the same time, doing your work and trying to help others um, mm-hmm. and uh, sharing your uh, knowledge and uh, having uh, others to learn from us. And uh, in uh, short, we did learn that uh, kids uh, even study studies show that kids who grow up around farm animals around dogs or cats or parrots or any uh, pets tend to have um, a better you know um, a stronger immune system uh, their bodies are healthy more healthy they have lower risk of uh, allergies and eczema but definitely as Sean said he has uh, an allergy uh, towards dogs but uh, uh, definitely with age it might change as well and uh, definitely we also uh, came to know that interacting with animals also shows uh, uh, a lot of de- decrease in the levels of stress uh, mm-hmm. be it um, uh, to help in exercise going outwards uh, going outside and playing with somebody when you have a pet that becomes easier and definitely uh, there are tons of even uh, you know if we can pick up a street uh, animal and help that animal uh, to become part of our family that is also something good that we would be doing so uh, definitely it's uh, always two ways love is also two ways and if we can show that love to our pets uh, no wonder pets would love us too so uh, with that uh, we uh, would uh, just uh, you know uh, again, remind that we have these webinars every other for the younger group. We have uh, our live webinar every other Friday 
from 8.45 to 9.45 p.m. And our older youth webinars happen every Saturday from 4 to 5 p.m. EST. As uh, tomorrow is a Saturday, we will be having a webinar on how um, our youth, this generation, youth, they are, uh, they can take steps, measures uh, to make a better future. So it will be interesting. Do join us. And if you have any questions, please email us at webinar at letustalkit.com. And with that, we thank you all, you cutie pies. You did a wonderful job. Love you all and have a great night. Thank you so much. Well, Thank you. Bye, everybody, and thank you for coming. Thank you, and bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, and bye for coming. Bye. 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 Bye.